Okay, this is Chris Priest again, and what we'd like to do now is uh, work on uh, the pillows, work on the drapery treatment. Um, now, as you can see from the last video, what we did is we did the ceiling and we did those two walls. Uh, we added some shadows, we added some highlights. Uh, so there's some highlights in here where the ambient light is coming in and um, you're starting to see the ambient light on the wall. Um, I added some darker strokes with pencil to kind of define the wall plane from the ceiling plane. Um, now that uh, particular part of the drawing is nice, it's dry. We have some shadowy effects. We've got some nice, deep, rich, dark areas moving into some lighter areas. Uh, we have some effects that maybe look like uh, light coming through the window, even if it's ambient light, creating a little bit of shadow that's being cast on the walls. Uh, we've got a little bit of brown tones going. So uh, while we were gone, what I did is I went in and I added a little bit of green. Um, I added some values to the window mullions and the window casing. And then I went ahead and uh, just added some green, some white highlight, and then some little yellow marker and some red marker for some flowers uh, just to give the plant life a little bit of uh, life. All right, so now what we're going to work on, I'm going to come over into this area. Uh, we're going to work on um, the drapery treatments. There's uh, the drapery here and drapery here. And then I think what we'll do also is work on some pillows. So to begin this process, what I like to do, um, it's a little different from the method that you may see in the Doyle text. Um, I do very much like his step-by-step -step method. But one thing I notice with the Doyle text is he has a tendency to color in a complete block and then go back and add white. Now, you can certainly do that. It looks great. Um, it does take a lot more pencil work. What I like to do is actually do a value study using gray markers, and we're going to do that here. Um, value study using gray marker, then add a little bit of color over that, and if I need to, go back and put in a little bit more white. All right, so we're dealing with some drapery treatments. They're hanging down. I'm going to start over here on the side, and I'm just going to like stay very nice and tight against the inside of these lines. And I'm going to break my lines up a little bit. I don't want just solid lines. Okay. Now, as we get over here closer to the edge, I'm not going to go in there with this dark marker. And what I'm using right now is a uh, cool gray 70. All right. So I'm going to let that dry for a second. I'm going to go over to this side. And on this side, I'm going to start on the opposite side of the line. Okay. So this would be like where there's a fold and then you're seeing some shadow, right? So same thing, there's a fold, and this is where we're going to start seeing some shadow. And again, I like to break my lines up a little bit. I don't like them just to be solid. Okay. All right. Um, I do like to get nice and dark because I know it's going to dry a little bit lighter. So... Just to make you a little nervous, this is a cool gray 90. You are allowed to use a cool gray 90. It is not black. Uh, and what I'm doing is the paper is still moist where I put the 70. So I'm just touching with the 90. And what it's doing, it's just absorbing in with that 70. So it's actually not quite as dark or intense as if I just did a solid stroke uh, with the uh, cool gray 90. And then, you know what, while we're letting that dry, I'm going to go ahead and go in and, and start working on the pillows. Start with the 90. And go in, add some, uh, some shaded area. I've already done a lot of shading with uh, stippling and pen and ink, but uh, that's just kind of my style. I like working with a lot of pen and ink first, and then I like going back and uh, adding. Now, notice what I did here. There's a shadow, okay? Now on this back pillow, there's a pillow back here, there's a shadow. I'm going to leave some white space and then come in and add some darker value. There's a shadow here, okay, I'm going to add just a little bit of dark in here. But I kind of like to separate out between my, my actual shadow and then the shading so that um, we can see a little bit of difference. All right, so I'm just, that's uh, again, cool gray 90. 
Now I'll go back to my cool gray 70. And actually, once it starts to dry, you'll see that there is a, a difference between the two. I'm just going to throw some strokes in here that kind of go with the shape of the pillow. All right, I won't get too much more there. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to go down to a uh, lighter value. Now I'm using a cool gray 50. So I'll take my cool gray 50 and kind of put it right next to the cool gray 70. What it does is, if you notice, then we start getting dark, medium, dark, kind of a medium, okay? So it helps kind of uh, fade out the colors. And I know, you're probably thinking, wow, this is really dark, but don't worry about it. We're going to add a uh, colored marker to this, and then we're going to add um, color pencil as well. I'm also going to soften my shadow. So my shadow is right now just 90, so I'm going to go in with a 50. And then I'm also going to, might as well start adding some shadows and some shading off to the side of the bed. Okay. Just to give it a start. All right. Um, let's see. Let me move down one more. This is a cool gray 40. Okay, so cool gray 40, I'm going to go in. Okay, now what I'm also going to do is go in here and start adding some values. Just going to kind of follow the lines. Even if these were white draperies, well, if they were white draperies, we'd pretty much be done. Um, even if you have something that's pure white in your illustration, it is going to look like this. It's going to be shades of gray and shades of uh, black and white. It'll never just be pure white. Okay, so now let's apply some color. Uh, what I'd like to do, I've got, um, again, some browns that I want to use. And I'm going to put a streak down here of this brown. We'll kind of see how it looks. Okay, not bad. All right, I'm also, see that little bit of white? I'm trying just to put this color over where I have put some of the gray values. I want to leave a little bit of white here and there. And what that does is it creates um, highlight, which uh, we can also refer to as sparkle. And here's the nice thing about sparkle is your eye is very much attracted to sparkle. Think about... Um, uh, why you like jewelry, why you like looking at a lake, why you like looking at water. Uh, it's because there's that little bit of bright sparkle that happens. Okay, so I'm not going to fill in the color completely. What I am going to do is go back to my method of, uh, and this is again, I'm using a clear plate. I'm going to go back to my method of using my clear blender. All right, so I'm putting down some color on a plastic plate. You see the color? And now I'm going to take a clear blender and I'm going to, on a scrap piece of paper, I'm scrubbing my clear blender to make sure it's clean. I'm going to pick up some color on my clear blender and then I'm going to take that color and I'm going to apply it. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of color with my clear blender and then I'm going to apply that color. Now what that does is it helps me get a lighter value of that color I'm using. So I don't have to go get um, a light brown marker, which by the way they don't make too many, they do make a tan, uh, but I could use my clear blender and get some values going here. All right. Let's see, I want that little bit right in there. And actually, this is a tabletop, so I'm bringing some of that color down on the tabletop while I'm here. Okay. All right, so I'm going to let that sit up for a second. Uh, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean off my clear blender first. Again, just got a scrap piece of paper right next to me all the time. Clear off my uh, blender, and now I'm going to go in and do the pillows. 